So I've got a tone gray pad, and then I've got a couple other materials we can kind of introduce into the tone gray pad to create an interesting combination that's kind of like quick and easy to draw with. So I've got about like a bunch, like a handful of materials. It's kind of a lot to juggle, but you'll enjoy this kind of medium, I'm sure, because it's really, really fun, really, really powerful, and uh, and actually fairly simple to use. So, um, and we'll kind of just like, we'll funk it up a little bit. We'll draw one that's kind of a little bit wonky or something. Remember, with the cool gray marker, which is what we're using first, this kind of disappears throughout the, the, throughout the process, so um, it's going to be kind of a non-entity. Um, next, we can run in with some pen um, and kind of find our contours a little bit. Then we can light this sucker up and use the uh, warm gray five to kind of find our shadow core. We can poster this. And then we can go right across on the shadow side here. Anyway, and you can render this as much as you like with it. Um, next thing that you can do is take your Prismacolor white Come out to the other side and kind of throw in for some highlights there. Get like a nice gleaming highlight there. We can come through, we can do some like round hatching work. And some straight hatching work. And just help indicate where this sucker is going. Go back and add the rim of the bowl because, or the rim of this little vase. I forgot about the rim. Then we can go around with the prism color, highlight certain parts of the rim. Cool thing about it when you draw that white over it is. It can help you switch over that marker. Then this is the cool thing. This is the Uniball Signo white gel pen. It's kind of a strange little material. Um, what's weird about it is when it's wet, you can kind of like scratch through it and it leaves a, a strange little mark. And this you want to leave to the end and just use for like extreme highlights, really reflective areas. And I would not use this on more than 
four teeny spots. Um, at least until you have a good control over the medium and you kind of know where it's going to go. Um, you might take this W5 and do some more subtle things with it. Do a little transitionary edge around here. Maybe come in to the bottom. Do a little rendering. Do some line work with it. Maybe snag a little bit of dark around the rim or something. But overall, this is a great combo. And um, this is something that I would use probably for more like smaller sketches than this one. I'd probably throw in with the black Prismacolor for larger ones and, and we'll review, review that process on a, another video. But yeah, so what we've got is white Prismacolor, white Uniball Signo gel pen. We've got the Copic W5, uh, warm gray number five. We've got a 10% C1 cool gray to find everything. Um, and we've got our Pilot G2. Um, and that's kind of this little medium. We'll explore more on others.